flicked another one off too earlier. These are evil. We hate them. This is the poisonous West slash East African bullfrog, a mutated species. Go fast. Go fast. Go. I don't have an angle on it, right? I was like, I lost him. Dude, I was literally gonna fall in the water. I don't have any. Like, well, good thing we didn't grab it. It's really poisonous. <laughs> Got some little tadpoles. Those are. Uh, um, there's one down there. Those are little California tree frog tadpoles. <laughs> so this is the American bullfrog. Um, not really a, a frog that a lot of herpers like to target, but we uh, set out today to try to find a big bullfrog and catch one, and we pretty much did that. Uh, these uh, frogs get about four to eight inches from snout to vent, and this one's about five inches uh, long, so this is a pretty good size one. Um, and it's actually a female. Uh, they're little circle things right here. I think it's called a Tapernum or something like that. If it's bigger than their eyes, it's a male. And if it's the same size as their eyes and it's a female, as well as the males have yellow throats, this one does not, so this is a female. And this is a super cool animal. Totally built for its environment, got the big web feet, big legs, able to hop, swim uh, very easily. Uh, but they're also a very dangerous animal. And the reason I say dangerous is because they are non-native and they can really take over an area because they will eat anything that they can fit in their mouth. And they have a pretty good mouth, um, pretty big size mouth. So they can eat uh, other native frogs, native snakes, native mammals, um, and really take over an area. The females lay up to 20,000 eggs. Those won't all um, reach maturity. I think it's like 25% will reach maturity, but that still is an insane amount um, of bullfrogs. And they really can take over an area. They're pretty much active during day and night, but at nighttime they like to sit in the reeds and we actually had to go down into, I call this place Satan's hellhole because there's been ticks out here, there's been water fleas and there's leeches. And we had to take off our boots and um, pull up our jeans and go down into the into the water and, and get them. And Cameron was able to, to uh, actually use a pretty good technique where he takes his headlamp, puts it in one hand, blinds the frog, and then uses his other hand to grab the frog. So that was his technique to get it. Wish we would have gotten it on film, but uh, we were dealing with uh, <laughs> leeches and other things. So anyway, very, very cool frog. I mean, this is just an awesome animal. Even though it's a non-native species and pretty destructive, it still is a very, very cool animal. All right, there you go, buddy. There you go, buddy.